Have you noticed purple or red spots on the legs, arms or other areas of the body that don't fade when you press them? Then you may have cutaneous vasculitis, which is a fancy name for basically inflamed skin blood vessels. It's not just a rash, it's the actual immune system reacting and attacking its own blood vessels, causing them to leak and leaving that red or purplish colour staining to the skin, which doesn't go away on palpating or pressing on the skin. Around half of the cases of cutaneous vasculitis is actually idiopathic, where we never find the cause, and it goes away on its own. The other common causes, though, are recent infections or recent drugs that we may have started, such as antibiotics, um, underlying inflammatory diseases or connective tissue diseases, and more commonly, in around 5% of cases, being associated with cancers. Now, I usually see a couple of cases of cutaneous vasculitis each year, and the three questions I always think about when I do suspect such cases is, are they systemically well? Is there any obvious trigger? And how severe is this? Now, in terms of systemic involvement, I'm asking myself, is this just an isolated rash or is there joint involvement, kidney involvement, new gut issues, new onset headaches, new shortness of breath or chest pain? Therefore, your doctor may do things like checking the throat for any acute signs of infection, checking your blood pressure and your urine test to dip to check for any protein or blood as a sign of kidney damage or listening to your chest, heart, or feeling your tummy to again elicit any pain or new sounds heard on the chest or heart. And they'll obviously review the skin to ensure that this is a vasculitic picture and nothing else. They may also obviously examine the nails and the hands to check for any digital alterations to the hands and also in the legs. Now your doctor may perform the following blood tests and request imaging such as a chest x-ray if, for example, you're presenting with new lung symptoms or heart symptoms. Now, your doctor may advise you to do simple things like leg elevation, rest, taking an anti-inflammatory and using any topical steroids for any localised irritation to the skin. For more moderate to severe disease, your doctor may also refer you on to the appropriate specialist. As always, I hope that helped.